sometimes I go out and I just want appetizers. Hold the entrees, hold the desserts, just give me a menu full of starters. Today though, we're not making any old appetizers. We're having heart to palm and crab salad with baked brie cheese. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. I'm your host, Ianthea Smith. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen once again. As you can see, I have Chef Royalty again on the show, Chef Edwin Johnson. Thank you so much for coming back. Oh, it's always a pleasure. It's yes. always a pleasure to be here. And you know, Chef Johnson only does fine dining. <laughs> so we're in That's for right. a treat today, right? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> so we're making our heart to palm and crab salad right. with baked brie cheese. Yeah, exactly. That now, sounds there's, delicious. There's uh, several components of the crab salad. First, we have to start with a aioli, okay. cilantro aioli. And mm -hmm. aioli is just a, a thick sauce similar to a mayonnaise that is, is flavored. So what, right. you, what I want you to do is just dump the egg yolks. You start with the egg yolks. Uh -huh. We okay. got three uh, yes. egg yolks dump in, it in there. there. And there are no whites in there, you no guys, whites if in you there, can yeah. see. There's the cilantro grows in there. Let's get this out, all right. And like I said earlier, I love to go out and just pick out on some appetizers. Yes. A lot of people kind of sleep sometimes, you know, when it comes to the appetizers and how filling they really are. Right. What Dijon, should we look for on Dijon, the menu? Dijon mustard here. Okay. So we put in there three egg yolks, yes. no whites, no some whites. cilantro. Yeah, peppercorns. Peppercorns. Whole peppercorns here. Dijon mustard. Okay, Dijon mustard, uh, uh -huh. honey. Some honey. And don't forget the garlic. Just put in about two, three cloves of garlic. Okay. Hands are gonna smell like garlic all day, but that's fine. <laughs> so what should we look for on the menus when we go out and appetizers? Something that filling. You know, we usually go to the chicken wings and the tacos, but what yeah, should but we look for to get a good you know, fill? You know, in a gourmet restaurant, you're not looking for anything exactly. that is gonna be filling. You want something just to stimulate your appetite, mm. to get your appetite ready for the cost that, ah. that's following. Okay, put a little bit of uh, vinegar there. Okay. Apple cider vinegar. All right, I'm gonna put this on here. And, and get this going. Okay. Okay. That's the oil. Okay, that is done there. Oh, now pepper. you have to, in order to have that smooth emulsion, mm -hmm. you have to gradually add the the olive oil, oil the slowly, okay. so it can have that emulsify properly. And a question okay. I have: Why didn't we want the egg whites? for the aioli because, why does that not work uh, because the egg whites doesn't contain the protein which ah, is called lexithin okay. in the egg yolks lexithin is a protein that brings things together okay so you have some liquid in here you have that all of that herb in there so you want something to bring it together and hold it and stabilize it perfect okay okay well that so, was really easy to make and the next one we're going to make the citrus vinegar okay. so we have the lemon juice mm -hmm. and we have the orange juice uh the Apple cider, Apple cider vinegar, and then we're gonna let this go. And then once it's blend, we're gonna add the olive oil. Okay. Now both so of them are very simple that's, to make. That's the component <laughs> there for us. All right. And then we're going to move on to actually mixing this now. Okay. Okay. So I want you to um, mix. All right. Let's All right. get to the fun part. I have some of the aioli here already. And we um, need a little bit of the citrus. The citrus vinaigrette. Yeah. <laughs> and Chef, you were telling me uh, before we started shooting that he is one of only two Bahamians, right? That's Inducted correct. Inducted into the Academy of Chefs. The American Academy the of American Chefs. The American Academy of Chefs. What does that mean for you in your career? Well, that's a very, the, the uh, Academy is a very elite organization where they have all of their um, very fine chefs who made uh, a huge contribution mm -hmm. to culinary arts. So, nice. we're gonna add, that's the crab meat there. Okay, you can mix. 
Okay, this and is the that's the heart of palm. palm. Tell us exactly what that is, because I really didn't know what that was prior to today. Hearts <laughs> of palm, you know, you go. I was trying to actually find a very fresh one. Okay. Um, by going into the forest and you know the palm trees, you go, you get to the center and you pull out. Ah. As a kid, we used to go and pull those out and eat those, and it it was filling. We have that for uh, for lunch. So it's literally just the heart of the palm heart tree. Heart of the palm tree, yes. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> So, and can we find that readily find that here yeah, locally you or find, yes you can find okay. it here yes okay just mix it mix those together there all right awesome so chef i have to ask we have you you've been in this game for you said more than 40 about 43 years more oh, just mm -hmm. about 43 years mm -hmm. and you've been doing this for a long time you have a lot of new chefs coming up where do you think the state of the culinary industry is in the Bahamas? Do you like where well, it's going? Do you like it, what you see? It, it came a very long way because we have some very young, talented uh, chefs that who really pushing the and uh, promoting the Bahamian cuisine, carrying it to the international stage in, in culinary. So you're happy with all of your apprentices oh, yes, and yes. what you see? Yes. Now awesome. this is this is a bit of the aioli here. This is the, yeah, the yeah. aioli that we made right. a little earlier. Yeah. Just mix it. Awesome. This smells really good. And this this is see this is the type of um, appetizer I could dig into when I head out. I love stuff that's light, light, refreshing. Yes. You know, yes. Mm -hmm. got some seafood in there, a lot of veggies, a lot of herbs. It's a little bit more of that citrus this smells right really there. good. And I'm just mixing this as he pours everything yes. in here. And you notice everything is uniformly cut. And yes. remember the cut we talked, we spoke about the last show. Oh man, test time. <laughs> I, 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 it slipped my memory. Remind me again. Brunoise. Yes, the brunoise. brunoise yes. yes. The peppers are cut in the brunoise. The purple onions cut in the brunoise. Okay. And that just means very finely and evenly cut, evenly right? Evenly cut. Yes. All right. Here you go. Well, that smells yeah, good. Very nice. This looks like the perfect crab salad. But it really is heart to palm and crab salad. I could eat this all day long, okay. I could tell. So we're going to arrange, when we come back, we're going to arrange this nicely and uh, on the plate and you will see exactly um, how presentation is so important for mm -hmm. a, a simple salad as this. So why is presentation so important? We eat with our eyes. Yes. We eat with our eyes. In order for you to create an appetite and get the juice going, it have to look good. Yes, like, okay. like, like, like my juices are going now. Yes, yes, yes. So it have to, presentation is mm -hmm. very important because we eat with our eyes, mm -hmm. okay? So um, everything has to be arranged nicely and attractive. And why okay. would you recommend this salad over your regular, you know, uh, Caesar or any other salad that may be on the menu? If we see hot palm, we should go for this on the menu, right? Yeah, because it's it's different. Um, I really would love to go in the in the in the, in the bushes and get to the palm trees and pull out the fresh palm and really create something unique with that. Of course, mm -hmm. uh, you can get the palms now into in tins inside the, okay. the store. Um, it's it's not a cheap item. No, it's not cheap. <laughs> no, it's not cheap. As well as the the this is real crab. No, no imitation. No imitation crab. This is hair. real crab awesome. meat. Awesome. And that is a you little bit expensive. You can tell because it's it. thicker. It's yeah. lumpier. Mm -hmm. You can see a lot of that uh, strength. I'd say right. in the crab meat. Right. Mm -hmm. So no imitate. But we can, I made it made for people who may not who may be on a budget and want to make this delicious dish on a budget. You, would you recommend some imitation crab well, meat? Well, if you <laughs> yes, if you have a budget, of course. But the, you know that. Uh, Imitation crab meat is another type of fish mm -hmm. that have essence of crab in it and have the color. But uh, it's not really. Yeah, it's not <laughs> It's not the real stuff. But, mm -hmm. however, a lot of Bahamians use it, okay? Mm -hmm. And you can really pump it up. Okay. You can really pump it up. And, and with the fresh herb, like the aioli uh, sauce, the citrus uh, vinaigrette, the um, diced uh, peppers, uh -huh. and purple onions. So you really can really, really boost it up. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So as you can see inside here, we have our hearts of palm and crab salad in here. Hearts of palm, some red peppers, some green peppers, some onions. What mm -hmm. else do you use? Some lemon juice? So we use the citrus vinaigrette. Citrus vinaigrette. Yes, our there. citrus vinaigrette yeah. that we made a little earlier. Mm -hmm. And our aioli. Did we use right. that as well? Yes, right? we did. Yeah. We use our aioli as well, our cilantro aioli, right? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So our hearts of palm and crab salad with our baked brie cheese is coming right up. This is Chef It Up. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Earlier, you saw us make our hearts of palm and crab salad. And mm -hmm. now we're going to get going with our baked brie cheese. And for that, we need a onion relish. So very okay. quickly, pot is very hot. We're going to make the little oil in there. Okay. Okay. And tell me a little bit about this baked brie cheese. What should we uh, expect th from this This dish? is really a unique, a unique flavor. Okay, with the cheese, with the with the uh, onion relish, 
There's a bit of apple cider there. Uh-huh. Okay. And sugar. This is a special kind of appetizer. There you go. All right. Just stir that. While that is going, you're going to want to let that be juice and become really like a, uh, like a sort of more uh, soft candy sort okay. of uh, consistency. So while that's going, we have the filet dough here, and you can also find this in the food store. It's a very thin, very, very thin dough, um, and you have to be very careful in handling it because it can get tear very easily. Okay, so very quickly we're going to separate this, this. Why is this dough so perfect to go with this uh, big brie? Because it's cheese. very light. Okay. It's very, very light. Okay. So ah, you I want to take, right through that. Yeah. yeah. You want to take a sheet, one sheet. Okay. And we're going to brush this with melted butter. Okay. And check your uh, relish there to see how it's going. It's coming along. It's bubbling up over here. Tell me how these two dishes complement each other, the uh, hearts of palm salad and now this baked brie cheese. Well, you know, the hearts of palm, it's, it's a really light, uh, chilled salad. The brie cheese is going to be a nice warm uh, with that cheese ah. uh, and the crunch of the, uh, the filet dough. Okay, okay, perfect. So I'm going to put another layer of uh, filet dough on the top. This is so delicate, very delicate. Like that. And you said this dough is easily found in stores around town. Yes. And we're gonna brush, liberally brush the top okay. again. Okay. How is the onion relish going? Coming along. It smells really good. That oil, the onion, and that uh, vinegar mix, red wine vinegar. Okay, actually. then I'm gonna put one more. So do you usually layer a couple of these together yes, or it's, okay? Uh, several layers put together. And then we're gonna brush it again. Okay, and then we're gonna divide this into even portion by cutting straight through with a very sharp knife. Okay. Like that. I'm bubbling over here guys. And if you're cooking along with me, um It'll be good to get some help. Maybe, you know, somebody who can kind of do this while you're doing this. It's good to cook. Do you like to cook with people or do you like oh, to cook yes, alone? Oh, yes, yes. No, no, no. I love cooking with people. Love it. I know a lot of chefs okay. like, you know, the kitchen is mine. I okay, don't want anyone it's, here. It's divided already. Uh -huh. And uh, we have the brie cheese that is uh, cut into squares already. Okay. And what's special about brie cheese? This is a French cheese. It's very creamy uh, once it's, it's, it's melted. Uh -huh. uh, it has a unique uh, flavor to it. And now, can we substitute this with any other cheese if we want to? Or? Well, you can, you can use another type of cheese. All right, that looks good. Now, yes. just to, to, to make sure we cut a bit, we're gonna cut a bit here and use the already in advance. So with the magic of TV, you guys, he has handy yes, already caramelized this, onions. This have to be chilled. Yes, okay. okay. So, so once that is we done, this? We, we chill that down, put on, on, a, on a pan, mm -hmm. a flat pan, and chill it down. Okay, okay. so, so this, is. Is, this is going to the top like okay. that. Okay. It's nice and chilled. Awesome. Yeah. Is this one of your favorite things to make? Oh, it is, yes. Yeah, I can tell. Yes, it is. <laughs> You're very focused. And it's very easy. It's very easy to do, you know? It's, it's, you know, it's not difficult, yeah. as you can see. Very simple. And that's what I like about Chef Johnson and when he brings his fine dishes by. They sound so complicated. They sound like gourmet from gourmet, you know? But mm -hmm. when you start to make them, they're very simple and very easy to make. I didn't know it was that easy to make an aioli. Yes. I didn't know it was going to be this easy to make um, this beautiful baked brie cheese. So. Now we're gonna just grab the ends of this like this. Mm -hmm. Can lift that just a bit more. Didn't cut right through. And bring it together to the center like this. All right. Okay. And just like that, you have fine dining. You have an amazing little treat here. And we just made this in what, maybe less than 10 minutes? Yes. Not bad at all. And what's the what's the the importance of just making sure that you kind of squeeze it at the end to there? make sure it's properly sealed uh -huh. to keep all that heat and yes. flavor in and this is a little a little short <laughs> you want me to help you there yeah go ahead perfect all right
right. I see what you say about uh, this dough yes. being super thin. All right. Just make sure you get the corners in, right to the center. Is this something kids would like, you think? Kids would love this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you don't tell them that there's onion in the middle. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna just drizzle some it a little more bit. of our melted butter. Yes. All right. That was pretty simple. It is. That was easy. I, I wasn't, that was, that was easy. And cooking okay. usually is, hey. Yeah. I and think we overthink gonna, it. <laughs> we're gonna place this in a preheated heated oven uh -huh. and bake it for about three, uh, three, 350, for about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, 15, yeah. 20 minutes in yeah. the oven right. and that's good to go. So as you yes. know guys, our hearts of palm and crab salad has been chilling in the fridge for a little while now. We just put in our baked brie cheese. I'm super excited. Appetizers are my thing. Whenever I go out, just give me the appetizer menu and I can go all day long. So I'm gonna see how Chef Johnson's turns out. We're setting the pace for the yes, entree. Yes, definitely. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. We will be right back, you guys. This is Chef It Up. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. Our appetizers are done. Yes. So over here, we have yes. our hearts of palm and crab salad right. with some grapefruit, some cherry tomatoes, some microgreens, exactly. and that's cilantro oil, right? Exactly. And on this mm -hmm. side, our baked brie cheese, you guys, these smell so good. Mm -hmm. They're nice and warm, nice and golden. Where do we start? Where do we okay, start plating? Okay, we'll start with the hearts of palm and crab salad, and mm -hmm. I want you just, I'm gonna show you this one, and then you can move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, just pack it in the center of this ring. Make sure it's well packed. And that's because Sif Johnson says presentation is everything. And so even though it's a small little light solid, he's just gonna make sure that it's beautifully prepared for us, right? All right. Okay, so take this off very carefully. No, I hope I have that much technique. <laughs> okay, you can do the same thing there. Okay. And um, the, then the next thing we're going to do is just add the segments of grapefruit here. I love me some grapefruit. Okay. That's and beautiful. So let me start working on this side mm -hmm. while you do that one. So what types of flavors should I be expecting? Can you imagine? I could smell Can it. Can you imagine the... <laughs> The citrus flavored of the uh, citrus vinaigrette uh, and the grapefruit yes. um, blends with the crab, the tomatoes. So there's an interesting, interesting uh, combination of flavors here. Okay, very carefully. Uh oh. There you go. I think I oh, got it. Oh, it's even better than me. <laughs> this is gonna drizzle this. All right. Let me put my grapefruits over here. And why did you add the grapefruits to this dish? This was a pleasant surprise. It's 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 blend well with the crab and the palm, um, that citrusy uh, uh, flavor. That marry, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then we have our cherry right on the side tomatoes. There. How many did you use? Three. Three. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. A little microgreens on the top. I remember you told me to grab some. Make sure they stay in a yes, a little heap. A little heap. There you go. And you want to drizzle, you want to drizzle just like that, a bit around. Okay. There you go. And this is our cilantro oil. Yes. Just in drops. Oops. Is that good? That's good. Awesome. Go now, this is okay. an appetizer that would get me coming back to anybody's restaurant. Yes. And then you just want to wet just a little bit on the greens like that. Just a little drizzle uh -huh. like that. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Okay. That's beautiful. Hearts of Palm and Crab Salad. And then over here, Let's get over we here. have the raspberry coolie. Uh -huh. It's made already, chilled. And you want to make two blobs, three blobs, like that. Beautiful. Now, right. is this? do you learn this in culinary school as well? Yes, yes. <laughs> the plating part of it. And you go like that, Smear. and like that, and like that. Aw. Okay. Pretty. Now what should so, I be expecting from this baked brie cheese? I've totally never had this before. Now this is, you think about the, the brie, the relish, mm. onion relish. Yes, I forgot we put that onion okay. relish in there. The crispness of the filet dough, right? And of course, the little tartiness from the 
That raspberry. Raspberry. Mm -hmm. okay. And if you pass me the microgreens there. All right. And these microgreens, uh, like you told us last time, aren't oh. they aren't cheap <laughs> to come by. They're very expensive okay. and they add a little that little gourmet touch yes. to every mm -hmm. meal, right? Yep. I think it's time for us to dig in. Is no, that, you could, is that you correct? Have to, you have to do yours. Oh, I have to plate as yes, well. Yes. Sorry, I was Come getting on, ahead of myself. Oh, yes, the blob. Yes. So the blob. Oops. Oh, Oops. Oh, oh, let me fill that in. <laughs> uh, I'm just ready to eat. Can you tell? And then a blob here? Yeah. Okay. Should be three. And then one more here. Okay. You create your own design. <laughs> okay, just swip. I'm left handed, so I'm going to come that okay. way. Okay, good. I'm gonna bring take this one, one here. Anyway, take that one down. I'm just making my own. You have little, your own design. <laughs> my own <Good>. little design. <laughs> and then we take our big one spoon. on the there. Okay. okay. These smell so cheesy and so good. I can't wait to dig in. And then one here. There you go. And of course, don't forget the microgreens. The microgreens. Right in the middle right there. Right in the middle there. All right. There you go. Your baked brie. Yay! Appetizers um, done with differently. With raspberry, raspberry coulis. Mm -hmm. Okay. And over and here. You have your hearts of palm and crab salad. Um, it'll be really good if we, uh, you, you have some chefs who would venture in the forest and get and the go fresh for it themselves. palm. Yeah. That would be quite interesting. Wow. Be quite interesting. So there you have it. Very refreshing. I could see that. And uh, with the citrus of the uh, from the pink grapefruit, mm -hmm. um, the tomatoes and the cilantro oil. And not so much either. It's a small bite, a delicate bite, but I can see this being very filling, very satisfying. And Remember, this is to stimulate your appetite. For the next course. For the next right. course. All right, so let's dig in. Let's yes. get some forks. Good. I am going to start over here. Start with the salad, right? Yes. There you go. All right. Can I have that knife if you don't mind? Thank you. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna dig into our hearts of palm and a crab salad here. Okay, Let make sure you get that. some of that cilantro oil in there. Yes, I want a little bit of everything. And try it with a piece of the pink grapefruit. Just okay. take a piece, yeah, all right, exactly. Uh -oh. So you get uh, three of those components on there. I'm trying to cut it. You can take a whole segment. I was trying to not be greedy, but <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Did you, did you get a bit of the microgreens there? That, yes, I did. That's okay. delicious. Good. That nice, crab. refreshing, chill. I see what you say about using real crab. Uh, like, mm -hmm. it's straight off of the dock. Those crunchiness from the from those greens and the onions, it works really well. And this grapefruit, a pleasant surprise. Good. Because I feel it playing off of that citrus uh, vinaigrette Good. that and we don't put forget in there. to have another item to taste. <laughs> okay. There you are. So All we right. have your baked brie. How do and I just, even dig just, into this just, one? Just split it, just put the fork right through it. Good, you see oh, the crunchiness. A good crunch. Yes, yes. A good crunch Okay, grab there. some of that uh, raspberry coulis there. Mm-hmm. Let me just get my knife. All right, some of that coulis. What's that gonna do? Give me a, a good kick, right? Ah, uh, yes. And then yes. a little bit of the microgreens. Put a little citrus there as well. Mm. There you go. I can hear the crunch in your mouth. This is really good. Good. That raspberry coulis underneath there, it just bursts through. Mm -hmm. uh, this whole big breathing here. It's very interesting. Actually, it's a surprise when you it get is. it, when you cut into it, and the most surprising thing is when it enters your mouth. It tastes so good. Thank you so much, Chef Jonathan. This is absolutely amazing. I've never had appetizers like this before. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to have you in the kitchen. It's always a pleasure to be here. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. I'm going to finish everything you see here, okay? We'll see you next time. This has been Chef It Up. I like this. Thank <laughs> you.